Hello, welcome to Vintour's SCADA introduction tutorial. In the previous tutorials, I tried to explain step-by-step -step first project and reporting feature of Vintour's SCADA. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about almost all feature of Vintour's SCADA by very briefly. I'm starting Vintour's SCADA by desktop icon. First button in Vintour toolbar is new button which used for creating a new project. When we start a new project, a new database created in SQL Server. Next open button is for opening an existing project. Next button, which has a star icon on it, it starts a wizard for assisting the user while creating a new project. Next save button is for saving the changes in the project. Save as button is used for saving the project with a new name. When a project saved with a new name, a database created in SQL Server for its project. To open a project, the database must be exist and accessible. Therefore, if we move the project which uses local database to another computer, we should make save as the project for creating a database on that computer. We can reach help page of NTR by clicking help button or pressing F1 on the keyboard. The button, which has Vintiar icon, displays software's manufacturer information. The last editor's button shows the menu which is for accessing main section of the Vintiar SCADA. I'm starting a new project. Save dialog box appears instantly. I'm giving it sample project to name. Now, we didn't notify it, but a new sample project to named database is created in SQL Server. After saving the project, editor's menu shows up automatically, which will be used for accessing main sections of the SCADA. The first section is Connection Manager. It is used for creating PLC connections and the tags. Screen Designer is used for designing the screens. Script Writer is the section for developing scripts with Visual Basic and C Sharp languages. These scripts can be called from screen, object and alarm activation deactivation functions. With scripts, you can get almost unlimited flexibility in your SCADA project. In Alarm Manager, warning and alarms created for the tag values. These alarms monitored in Alarm view object in the screen. Control panel contains all configuration settings for the SCADA project. I am opening the connection manager and creating Modbus TCP IP tag. I am creating temp1 tag for the address 40001. I am closing the connection manager. To create a screen, I'm opening the screen designer menu and clicking new. WinTR SCADA has a rich screen toolbox. Basic interface elements are located in .NET components group. Beside chart and gauge objects, designer has symbol factor object which contains more than 3600 industrial icon. It has also contains alarm view object for monitoring alarms and recipe view for managing the recipes. Screen properties contain settings related to screen. We can assign a scripts to the screen start, refreshing and closing events from the function menu. Now I am adding a symbol factor object to my screen. Symbol factory is a special object that contains more than 3600 objects. We can reach these objects from its wizard. We can see the categories at the left. We can use any icon in project. I am adding a button and text box to screen. I am assigning the tag that I created to the text box value property. Now I'm closing the screen designer. I will write a simple script in script writer 
and it will just display a hello message. We can compile and run the script from the buttons at the top. I am saving the script and closing the script writer. Now I am going to define an alarm for the temp1 tag from the alarm manager. In alarm manager I can see all tags at the left side. I am right clicking on it and selecting add tag. For temp1 tag I am defining an alarm for the value 50 and above. I am specifying temperature 1 is high message for this alarm. I am closing alarm manager. Now I will assign a script to button. To do this I am opening screen designer and right clicking on the button and selecting function mouse down. Function wizard window is opened. I am selecting the script that I saved from the action script combo box and adding it to function list. I am clicking OK and close it. For monitoring alarms on the screen, I am adding an alarm view object to the screen. To monitoring alarms, we have to add alarm view object. Now I can close the screen designer and go to the co control panel for configuring the project. In script setup section, I can specify a script to run for the runtime startup, for completing each network cycle, for running at every minute once, for running at every hour once, for running at every day once and for running when shutting run the, down the runtime. Screen setup section contains one of the most important settings as runtime startup screen. This specifies the screen that will start with the runtime. We can add and remove users in here also. Now I'm creating a new user with the name of user, specifying his password and determining his level as 1. Next SQL Server 2005 tab is for the determining SQL Server and database which will be used by the project. WinTR SCADA can use local or remote any SQL Server database. We can enter the address of the computer which hosts SQL Server and SQL Server's instance name to the server name field. Because of more than one SQL Server instance can be installed on single machine, we must provide an instance name. Local means we will use local SQL Server. This could be any IP address that hosts SQL Server. And we can see here WinTR instance SQL Server with WinTR instance name. We must provide the username and password for the connecting to SQL Server also. These are the default username and password. We can confirm the connection by clicking test connection. We can list all the databases that in the SQL Server by clicking database listing. Then we can select desired database from select database combo box. We can also create a new database. Next server and client tab is for configuring the SCADA as a server and client. This features we will discuss further tutorials. SMS email tab is for configuring the SCADA for sending email and SMS when alarm state or object functions runs. SMS setup section contains SMS server settings. SMS is sent through connected cell phone or JSON modem. Message center and sent messages specified here. Email setup section contains email server settings. Email is sent through existing email account. Send message is specified here also. Print document tab is for designing printout, tag, barcode and backgrounds added to printout from its right click menu. And size can be determined by height and width properties. Next report tab is used for creating reports. Report tab explained in reporting tutorial so I skip this tab. Next web server tab is for determining screens as remotely accessible by web browsers. We can specify maximum 15 screens as remotely accessible by checking web server checkbox. These screens can be accessed by IP and port number of the host computer. We can also specify refreshing period of the screen at client side. This feature isn't allow any interaction with the client yet. Clients can only watch the screen. After closing control panel. I can log in as desired user and start the runtime. I'm starting runtime by clicking runtime button at the right top. A message displayed that indicates no screen specified as startup screen. I'm clicking the yes to determine screen 1 as startup screen. Yes, now runtime has started. I'm clicking the button that I assigning a script. 
and it shows a message box. I'd assigned an alarm to temp1 tag for value 50 and that tag is connected to text box. I'm setting 57 for that tag and I see the alarm in the alarm view. If new value deactivates the alarm, it's become strikeout. Now let's see how it does look in web browsers in remote computers. I'm opening Internet Explorer and entering my computer's IP number and specified port number. The main page contains links to the screens. Now I have only screen 1 and click on it. I see this screen in browser. Its refreshing status can be see the clock at the title. Because of the WinTR hasn't got capability, I cannot make any interaction. There is a special situation while displaying alarm view on web browser. Only active alarms displayed on it. The activated alarms doesn't shows with the active alarms. If I set the value more than 50, alarm will be monitored in web browser. When it is deactivated, it will completely gone from the browser, but in the host screen on overstrike. In this tutorial, I tried to show main features of Intel Scala. Thank you for the watching.